This video will show you how to animate red blood cells in veins using Blender, please watch up to the very end. When you open Blender, first press delete to delete the default cube. Press Shift A and add a torus. Come down here on its settings panel and increase on its major and minor radius until the results look close to these. Now press Tab to go to the edit mode. Press Alt and click on this inner middle edge loop then press Delete to delete it. Press Alt and click on this edge loop then press F to fill the gap. Come down here, press Alt and click again then press F to fill it also. Press Tab to go back to the object mode. Go to Modifier Properties and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Increase its viewport levels to 2. Press Tab to go to the Edit Mode. Select the top and bottom faces and press I to insert them. Now press Tab again to go back to the Object Mode. Come to the Modifier Properties and apply the Subdivision Surface Modifier. Go to Object and Shade it Auto Smooth. Press G then Y to move it along the Y so that you can place it aside. Now press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Come to the particle properties and click on this plus icon to add a particle system. Now if you press the space button to play it you can see that it is now releasing some particles. So come to the particle system settings and scroll down to render then click on its drop down arrow. Click here to switch it from halo to object. When you play it nothing will happen. So go to frame 1 then click on this eyedropper and select the torus. If you play it you can see that the objects have changed. Now come here to scale and adjust it to increase on their size. Go back to frame 0 and press shift to then go to force field and add a curve guide. Now if you play it you can already see that the particles are following the curve objects. Now click on this Z to go to a top view then switch to edit mode. Click on these nodes one by one then press G to move them making sure you create a path of your liking. You can even press E to extrude them if you want a longer curve. Now press tab to go back to the object mode. If you play it now you can see that the particles are following the shape of the curve. Select the sphere then click on this C to go to the top view and press G to move it here at the beginning of the curve guide. Now if you play it you can see that the particles are perfectly following the curve. Since we need some variations and a sort of random rotation during the transition, we'll need more than one torus objects. So select this torus object and press Shift D then Y to duplicate it along the Y axis. Press Shift D then Y again to duplicate it along the Y axis. Come to the frame 0 then turn on the auto keying button. Select this one and press R then click to add a rotation keyframe to it. Select another one and press R then click to add a rotation keyframe to it as well. Select the last one and press R then click to add a rotation keyframe to it also. Go to the last frame presser then make sure you rotate it several times for higher degrees. Select the next torus and press R to rotate it several times. Do the same for the last one. Now if you play it you can see that they all have different variations. So select all of them and press M then add them to a new collection. You can give it a name of your choice. Select the sphere and come to the particle properties. Scroll down under render and set it to render as collection. As an instance collection select the collection which you move the torus objects. Now if you play it on a close look you can notice that the particles are not making random rotations while moving. To fix that come here under collection and activate object rotation. You can now clearly see that the problem is sorted. Here you can control the number of time each object is repeated in the particle system to make the simulation more uniform. Now if I play it you can see that now the simulation is fine. Now press Shift A and add a Bezier curve. Click on this C to switch to top view and press Tab to go to the edit mode. 
Click on this middle control point of this curb and press G, then move it to this point where the simulation starts. As you click on the middle control point of the curve you'll be able to move a node and when you click on these end control points it will help you adjust the intermediate shape of the curve. If you want to make it longer go to the last node and click on the middle control point then press E to extrude it. So now that you know, edit this curve to make it align well with the curve guide. Now press tab to go to the object mode. Right click and go to convert to then select mesh. Come to modifier properties and add a skin modifier. Press tab to go to the edit mode. Press A to make sure all is selected then press Ctrl A to increase the skin size until it just covers the sphere. Press tab to go back to the object mode. Come to modifier properties and click on this drop down arrow to apply the skin modifier. Now add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the viewport levels to 2. Now press tab to go back to the edit mode. Select this end face and press delete to delete it. Select the one on this end too and press delete to delete it as well. Press tab to go back to the object mode. Come here and increase the viewport levels to 3. Go to object and shade it auto smooth. Now click on this drop down arrow then apply the modifier. If you play the simulation now you can see that some of the cell particles are not inside the vein. To fix that, select this UV sphere and press S to scale it down making sure its radius is a bit smaller than that of the vein. Now if you play it you can see that the cells are nicely flowing inside the vein. Now you can get a nice camera view, assign materials to it, give nice lighting and render. Thanks so much for watching this video up to now, I really appreciate the support. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on our latest content. Also let us know what you want us to teach you about Blender in the comments, I promise we'll make a video. Have fun animating, I sign out.